Hey guys, Jimmy Yin here, the Neurology Acupuncture Specialist, and coming to you a little late today. Uh, today's Friday. Friday, we're still going to do the daily power tips, and Friday we talk about freedom. Uh, we're just changing it up. So um, the topic of freedom is because there's so much talk about freedom these days um, with all the COVID and uh, everything that's going on around the world here in the U.S. And so freedom is a hot topic. And so commonly, you know, what, what, so what, does it really, what does it mean to you? And so when I was thinking about what freedom means to me, um, I, of course I looked up the definition. You gotta, in order to understand the word, you have to look up the definition. What does the word freedom actually mean? So I looked it up, I Googled it. And so the word freedom means the power to act, speak, think as one wants without hindrance or restraint, okay? So it's the ability to speak, you're, you have the power, you have, Freedom means you have the power to act, speak, think as you want without hindrance or restraint, right? Um, there's so much restraint going on these days, not necessarily by yourself, like people are, getting, people are restraining other people, people are hindering other people from enacting their own freedom, their own power, right? You can see it on Facebook, which we're currently on. Facebook and YouTube, you know, they're banning certain uh, freedoms of speech, right? They're, they're only allowing certain things that can be posted on Facebook. And then you look at all the political, all the people that are arguing with each other, you know, just because someone disagrees with you doesn't mean you, you have the right to restrain their freedom, right? There's so much of that going on. So much of that is going on where someone says something that's opposing to what you believe in, what your values are, and therefore you have to make them wrong. You have to tell them to shut up. And so you, because you want to refrain, you want to restrain their freedom, right? But then what gives you the right to restrain someone else's freedom, right? So, you know, there's a lot of that's going on. But this is not about politics. This is not, that's not what I'm talking about. I want to, I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about health freedom. You know, is something, you know, restraining you or hindering you from, from being able to act, speak, think, really act, to be, to be able to do what you want to do, what you love to do, with whom you want, want to do, whenever you want to do. If you lack that, if you can't answer yes, so if you can't do whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do, with whom you want to do, you have lost your health freedom. Okay, I'm talking about just an ability to, to do activities, to be able to go on a hike, to be able to go swimming, to be able to go bicycling, to be able to play golf, play tennis, play football, whatever. If you can't do those with your kids, with your grandkids, with your spouse, with your friends, you don't have health freedom because freedom is the power to act without any hindrance or restraint. So what is hindering you from doing those activities that you love to do and you want to do, right? You gotta solve that in order to get health freedom. Taking a pill doesn't solve that. Taking a pill temporarily helps you, helps you be able to act, but it doesn't allow you to do it without hindrance or restraint because you're, re you're hindered by not having that pill. You're restrained by you know, something else that's going on in, in already in your body. So what is hindering you from achieving your health freedom? There is a lot of times there is a solution regardless of what you know, again, so much these days, the, the, the freedom of speech is being hindered uh, and restrained by all these media, right? So regardless of what the media says, that what can or cannot be done, just look at it. There's so many people these days, they're in their, you know, people that say, oh, you, I'm getting old, I can't do this, I can't do that. I remember when I was in high school where, uh, with my doubles partner, we were playing uh, tennis at this, at, you know, and it was against this 100-year-old uh, gentleman. I think his partner was 70 years old, but he was 100 years old. And this was back in high school, so I was probably about 17, 16, I would say 17 years old. Both, and, and my doubles partner was even younger. He was probably 16. We actually lost to the 100-year-old and a 70-year-old tennis players, right? Who said age, who said getting old, you know, prevents you from having health freedom? That's a myth that people are spreading. You, you, it doesn't matter, age is just a number. So that every time that someone tells me, hey, you know, oh, I'm getting old, I can't do this, I remind, it reminds me of that 100-year-old tennis player that beat my partner and I. We were how many times younger than he was, but he, because of his skill, because of he had health freedom, he could still play. He played probably more, 
He probably plays more than I play right now, okay? And so it's just a myth to believe that you can't do what you want to do, right? And I'm not talking about going for quick fixes, the surgeries. Yeah, it can get you to doing some of it, but having a surgery doesn't get you back to where you were before, right? But here's the thing. Sometimes we do degenerate so, so much, we don't take care of our bodies, we lose our health freedom, that we need surgery, we need medical intervention. But what I'm talking about is before you get to that point, there, is, there are things you can do to get before that, to, to before you get to so severe, you need those medical interventions. So, you know, what can you do right now? And I'm not saying just, I'm not just saying just because I do acupuncture to, that you have to get acupuncture in, in order to do it, no. There's daily stuff that you can do, daily habits that I go, that I talk about every single day, five days a week, uh, for a year now that you can do at home to actually regain your health freedom. Because we were, most of us, all of us, I would say a majority of us were born of health freedom. We just messed it up. We got to take responsibility for it, right? And the next thing is, is, you know, take responsibility for your own health. But at the same time, do not restrain or hinder someone else from doing it. Just because someone else is doing something that is not scientifically proven or medically proven doesn't mean that you're right and they're wrong. Okay, all the science I can show you I can show you science uh, uh, research that that was done in the 70s and that were supposedly you know they were researched, but now they're debunked, right? And so now, for example, you know one of the the big ones was the sugar industry. I think it was in the 70s, 60s or 70s, the sugar industry did, uh, uh, did, did, did a research that said, okay, fat, I mean, they, they paid for a research, a Harvard research, it was a paid research, and they got the result that they wanted, they manipulated the data, the, they, they wanted the research to say that fat was a cause of cardiovascular disease, of heart disease. Well, now it's proven that it's not, sugar is. But the sugar industry basically encouraged people to be to, to go on a low fat diet. So those of y'all who were in the you know in the 60s and 70s, you understand because you remember there was a time period where the media was pumping out data, research after research, saying high fat diets are terrible for you. Well, now 30 years later, or actually even more, or 50 years later, yeah, uh, where you know they have found that high fat, good fat, is actually good for you, right? This is what I mean by research is not always accurate. So don't use research to restrain or hinder someone, else, someone else's health freedom. If you believe in it, that's good for you, but don't say that someone else is wrong just because it's something that they're doing something that's opposite of you, right? So again, the purpose is, you know, focus on yourself. Focus on getting your health freedom, your family's health freedom, and let someone else do what they wanna do, right? You can share your knowledge, but don't hinder their freedom. All right, guys, hopefully this is beneficial. I know this may be a little controversial, especially during these times, but I wanted to get this message out. Uh, like, share this post if you know that someone else needs to hear this, and hopefully, and, and hopefully it'll make a mind shift and mind twist. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Jimmy Yen, the Neurology Acupuncture Specialist from Achieve Integrative Health. Um, I want you to remember, everything in life is achievable. It's up to us to make it happen. So spend this weekend on making it happen.